If you are looking for Ultimate Team Coins, I have the place for you. Head on over to EasyMuttCoin.com where you can purchase coins for as little as $45 a mil. I did not stutter. Link is in the description. Use code GS for 5% off. What up, ladies and gentlemen? Your boys just welcome back to another Madden 21 full game Friday. Hopefully, you guys are doing fantastic. So today, we will be rocking the full game usually I do it before the 50. Well, usually I do it on Saturday, right? <laughs> but when I do do it on Friday, um, I do it before the 50 players have been released. So I don't have any, you know, content with the new guys until um, the next day. So 513, we are recording this game and we are going on ahead and going to jump into a full game with the 50 players already in our lineup. And Rob Gronkowski, Gronkowski, and Rob Gronkowski, Gronk, let's just say Gronk, and also Larry Allen and Sean Taylor. So definitely looking forward to that. So um, looking forward to uh, hopefully getting some good gameplay with them. So um, offensively still, Dion is still, you know, relatively new. Um, he is going to go on ahead and have playmaker for me with route tech. Um, so that right there allows me to obviously reroute him if he's, as long as he's the closest receiver, you know, to me. And I feel like that right there is very, very helpful against people that run zone. Probably not so much man, uh, but against zone being able to do some rerouting. If you've seen the video yesterday, go on ahead and leave hashtag double dip. If you heard this, went back over there and left a comment in um, the Deion Sanders debut where he broke two records, dropped six touchdowns. I was playmaker in him like a goon. <laughs> um, it, it definitely very helpful in certain situations against zone. And then uh, defensively, uh, we're not going to have anything active on Sean Taylor. Um, I think I should. Whoa, my abilities are all off, huh? Sheesh. Okay, so we need we need training to put our abilities on. <laughs> What's going on with our abilities? We need we need our folks to get some abilities out there. Okay. <laughs> so um, Griffin, I usually put him at strong safety. So he's gonna go medium KO right there. I, I'm gonna need training too by the looks of it. <laughs> um. Because he's most likely going to be guarding the tight end. And tight end usually is going to run short to medium routes. Um, on the outside, I need Charles Woodson with deep out, deep knockout KO. That way he is suited for any deep, deep passes. He can go on ahead and um, uh, be active and jar, you know, those, those uh, passes loose. And same with DRC because those are my fastest options. I have both DRC and Charles Woodson on the outside because both of them, again, are my fastest options. 97 speed for Charles, and I think I keep calling him Rod, and 96 speed for DRC. So uh, if you have, you know, wide receiver Dion or Hill, you know, I got the speed to be able to keep up with them. So, so that's 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then Revis. We need training. Let's go in our binder, get rid of some stuff. And Revis, we're going to put short and medium on him because he is going to be in our slot. So um, we put short and medium on him. That way, whoever he's manned up, whenever we do go man in the slot, we can hopefully, you know, be active and create some incomplete passes with him guarding, you know, someone in the slot. And usually someone in the slot is going to go, you know, medium to short as well. So we need some... Some training. Who can we get rid of? Who can we get rid of? We need a lot of training is what we really need. And I don't think the 76 overalls are going to do it. Uh, not too bad. It's like, what, a 1,000 each or something like that? I need like 2,000 training. I think we got all these 74s that I'm never going to go in a binder and sell. Lord knows they've been in here forever. I, do, I try not to get rid of too many power-ups now. Okay, 2,000. All right, that right there should be enough for us to hook Revis up with his shorts and medium. It's unfortunate. I would rather have Griffin there because Griffin is one speed faster than Revis, and that would allow me to have 96, 97 on the outside and in my slot, 96. 
but he's a zone archetype, so he doesn't get medium for one or short for one. He gets medium for two and short for two because, again, he's a zone archetype. So, okay, medium route KO. Okay, so that right there should have us all set up with our abilities. Whenever we go to our 335 uh, wide defense. Right. And actually, let me put uh, reinforcement on Sean Taylor. Casey catches an interception or he gets a few tackles. You never know. He can be active. And that right there is it's like half universal coverage, half run stuffer. You know, allows you to disrupt passes more and uh, get more block sheds. So hopefully... It's, it's active. Okay, he's not. And it's going to be trippy. So who did we remove that had an X Factor before? Um, no, let's just move. It's, it's weird. It'd be glitchy like this sometimes, man. Like, when you're trying to add someone. Hold on. Let's remove from position and add him back. Because if I try to add him, it's going to say you've met the, the maximum. That means that I had someone active before. And I either unactivated him or... Or move them or something like that. It's it's goofy, man. It's goofy as almighty hell. Let's do the same with Cam. Actually, no, I, I know for a fact I've never moved Cam. I know for sure I never moved Cam. Okay. Um, activate. Okay, two out of three. Activate. Okay, three out of three. So we have all three with... Um, with our active uh, abilities. All right, so instead of jumping into an online head-to-head -head game, we're actually going to go right into Weekend League. Um, it'll be my first Weekend League game here. Putting our undefeated full game Friday on the line. Oh, good thing I just remembered, too, because Risky was on my account yesterday because he sold all his stuff. And, you know, when we play squads, we have a tournament coming up very soon. Um, he runs offense on my account since I still have a team, and he doesn't. And, nope, oh, I fixed it. Okay, run. I forgot. I ran squads earlier this morning. So, all right. So, we're going to jump right into Weekend League here. Hopefully, we don't get embarrassed. <laughs> and, hopefully, I would love for Sean Taylor to make a play or two. That would be tremendous because Sean Taylor, they got them all blacked out, looking like Noob Saiba. Like, really? Like, we can't get a picture of the GOAT? Just put a GOAT. That's all we got to do. Just put a GOAT right there, and people would know exactly who it is. <laughs> So our first weekend league game, and I believe there's no kickoffs because of the glitch. The glitch where if it's a punt and you call for a fair catch, if you let it bounce on the floor and you pick it up, you're untackleable. So to get rid of that, they just they just took kickoffs out of the game. Just nope, you're starting on a 25. <laughs> so all right, we gotta see who our opponent is. Usually your first few games of weekend league are sometimes rather easy. You know, um, you can get unlucky. You can get unlucky and match up against the goon. But, okay, see, like, this guy's team is really, really, really good. Usually don't match up with 98s, 97s until further on. So, right. he's got a really, really, really good team. Let's go to work, boys. Okay, we're on offense first. Strong. Let's go Dion here. It's all work. That's fine. So he has one step ahead on Night Train Lane. I know Night Train Lane isn't the fastest. 94 speed unless he's rocking 50 out of 50. Cardinals, you know, Rams, whatever team. Um, you know, we should definitely have the speed on him. All right. Let's go to work, boys. See what we're working with. See if we can catch Dion over here. Looks like he's going to be calling zone here. Actually, no. It's man. We got all worth on the side, baby. Let's go to the hose. To the hose. My man Lance. <laughs> I, it looked like zone because no one motioned over. But it definitely was man to man. And the guy that manned up to him was unactive rod. So that right there is a plus, right? We caught him without his one step ahead. I know both his corners look active. I could be wrong, but... Um, the motion over seemed to have messed things up where Rod Woodson had picked up, um, uh, Lance Allworth. So that right there 
it's definitely helpful for us because we have route tech and he just blew right by him. So, all right, let's set up our three, three, five here. We know we want DRC here. We want. I gotta remember to move Woodson out of my slot. Dang it, where Woodson go? Did I miss him? Oh, he's already over there. All right, so we want Griffin here. I'm gonna be using Night Train. We want Ronnie Lot there, Cam there, the GOAT there, and then Revis here in the slot. That's perfect. Okay, so he definitely has a, a thieler, uh, Thielers. <laughs> a st Whoa, what the hell is Ronnie Lot doing? He definitely have he has a Steelers theme. There, there you go. Climb up the run, Warren. That's why you're there, big fella. Even though they got you with the wrong abilities, and I can't put double or nothing on you, which is unfortunate, but all right, we'll take that. So our zones, we like to do flats five, curls fifteen, hooks zero. This time we're gonna play coverage here. I definitely think he's gonna go on ahead and pass the ball here. Oh my lordy, there you go, my man Griffin. That right, clearly, clearly a mistake, right? Obviously, like, obviously a mistake for Griffin. We'll take that. We'll gladly go on ahead and take that. My boy Griffin was all over there like me on peanut butter and jelly. I don't know about you guys, but I love me some peanut butter and jelly. All right, let's take a look at his abilities. All right, so one step ahead, strip specialist, swim club, and one step ahead. Okay. Not really sure why he has Swim Club. For those of you who don't know, Swim Club will not activate by itself. Because you have Swim Club out there, that does not mean you are going to go on ahead and start. He's just going to be swim moving like a maniac. No, that is a user ability. So this is what I actually want to try out. I actually want to see if I can reroute on man coverage here. I want to see if, if uh, with route tech, if I'm going to get a nice little boost here. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, he cooked him. Oh, yeah, okay. Now, that was a linebacker. That was a linebacker, but that right there definitely shows me that uh, he got matched up um, with the uh, the cover three match, and he was able to uh, make a play there. Make a nice little cut there, I should say. All right. I'm actually just going to look for Henry right here on a reroute here if he uh, calls his own again, and he does. We're just going to reroute Henry there. Be smart, you know, against zone. Um, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> against zone, um, one route that is 100% responsive, like you have QB Playmaker, is a running back curl. So that is why, if you ever look, when I run my deep outs, um, my play out of strong close, I leave the play action because that play action curl one play action negates edge threat and double or nothing right away and um you get better blocking on play action and two i can reroute that curl um wherever i want so you know i try to take advantage of that i mean you know i was figuring he was going to call zone again and I, all i was looking for was just that one that one playmaker there so okay yeah we def oh my lordy this man says forget running on conservative oh no i'm gone I'm, I'm, I'm out. Okay, so we we got to spy Vic. Say no more. Say no more. Vic is now, Vic is now spy. Oh, my goonie goo goo. Great play by him. I think I didn't get my, my shade over the top. And actually, let's, let's take a look at that real quick. Oh, and he's going for two. This guy just doesn't care. Okay, we're going to send a crib on this one. There you go. I don't, I don't really know why he went for two right there, but actually, let's take a look real quick. See exactly what happened. I definitely like to take a capture real quick and then just see what happens. Yeah, yeah, I didn't shade over the top. You can tell by how my guy is attempting to press him that I did not get the over the top shade. So that's, that's on me. That's an error on me. Okay, we have Henry. We're going to reroute him to the right because that's wide open. And like I said, you can tell because it's a curl, if I want to reroute him up, left, right, it's always going to be responsive 100% <coughs> of the time. So if you feel like you are having trouble against zone, 
definitely try to implement a running back curl um, because then you can. Re it gets to a point where I just do it so much they just start manning them up. Oh, one trap. Let's go. Oh, right, we're gonna put you clock on right here, and then we're gonna be able to take the quarter after this play right here. Get close to field goal. So because he failed his two point conversion again, not really sure why he went for it but because he failed this two-point conversion that right there allows me to go up a full seven points with the field goal instead of me just being up six i'm now being able to go up seven or if i'm feeling froggy and i go you know if i score if i kick a field goal, no, no 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 i'm ahead of myself i'm thinking oh i could go no it's a two possession lead if i score a touchdown i don't know what i'm talking about i'm all you. okay here's this one step ahead okay Fight for me, Derek. Fight for me. Okay. Um, this right here should be a touchdown if he doesn't have any over-the-top safety. We're going to take a chance here. You see this wheel post drag right here? It's a double move post right here that just torches one step ahead, all that stuff. So we should be good. As long as that safety, as long as that safety does not... Is not in a deep blue. If he puts him in anything other than a deep blue. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Okay, that right there looked like he's on. And it was. Caught me off guard there. It's a good call by him. Good call to mix it up. Alright, we're gonna see if we can get it on uh see this right here definitely looks like man. We're gonna run the ball anyways. Oh he fought! He fought, baby! Let's go! I see you, Henry. Let's go, big fella. Okay. He doesn't have inside stuff or anything like that, right? He does not. Okay, right here. I believe he uh, swapped to man. So this is where we want to catch him with Dion over the top here. Oh, yeah. Just give me the time. Just give me the time, and that's just money. Oh, my. Culpepper! Oh, my Lord, Culpepper. What are we doing? That's a tutty, man. Oh, my Lord. This man insta-shedded himself. <sighs> That's unfortunate. Because that right there should have been a touchdown. All right. Well, this is why we got Playmaker, right? This is why I really, really, really wanted to go on ahead and have Playmaker for situations like this for guys that run zone. So, I'm just going to... This is my only read. It's just a crosser. I'm just looking to go on ahead and reroute him in open space here. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. <sighs> I got antsy. I got antsy. I stepped up in the pocket because he insta shed it. He bulldozed immediately, and I didn't need to throw it. I, I just had to wait for him to cross the right a second longer, and I was good. I just got too antsy. That's on me. That's on me. There was no need for me to throw it quick. I threw it quicker than I needed to. So that's on me. Okay, we're sending the dogs here. Uh oh. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. And that's Sean Taylor as well, baby. She goes to the top again. Alright. I think we're going to we're, we're gonna send the heat again. We're gonna send the heat again here. Make sure we get our shade over the top, and he calls a screen, and I clicked off like a... You're damn right I clicked off. You, yes, you are. Yeah, you're damn right. No, so you clicked off. Yes. You're absolutely right I clicked off. How are you talking about? Lord knows I'd have missed that tackle. He lost eight yards because I would have dove and missed and all types of stuff. All right, I'm going to call a timeout once he gets to... Actually, let's just call a timeout now. I don't want to get quick hiked. He can make it to the line of scrimmage and call it immediately. So here, I want to go on ahead and call... Um, I'm going to set my hooks to 20. I want them underneath the first down marker. And I'm not going to spy. Vic isn't taking off with 30 yards. so. And I called the wrong play, didn't I? Yep. Called the wrong play. Dang it. It's okay. It's fourth down. Called the wrong audible. Second of their timeouts. 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They will indeed go for it. Vic forced out to his left. Let's go. Let's go, D. Oh, Sean Taylor's everywhere, baby. I see you, Sean. I see you. Let's go, man. All right, here. I just, I just want to work my, <laughs> I just want to work my reroute. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Like I just, I just want to work my playmaker, man. <laughs> Y'all shouldn't have gave me playmaker. Now I just want to playmaker everything. All right, we're gonna streak hill here. We're looking to reroute uh, Dion here. Like right here, just come back down and sit. Perfect, like a like a twenty yard stop and go curl. Like playmaker is just so good. It is what it is, man. Playmaker is just so good. Oh, hill, hill, hill. You're bugging. You're bugging. You're bugging. Oh no, we got route tech. We're gonna cook that. I know you got Jenkins made up on him, but we got route tech and he's just gonna cook it. No need to reroute that. Like there's just no need to do it. No need whatsoever. He's not stopping the route tech cut. Ta loco. You better have your one step ahead on that safety, baby boy. <coughs> Let's go. I love Playmaker. I, it just opens up the playbook so much for me. Like, did you guys see how I rerouted him down? Straight down. Because there was a defender left. There was a defender right. And I just re stop. Come back down. Stop right there. Stand in place. First down. Like, it's money. Let's go. Okay, gotta make sure. Oh, screen again. Let's go. The big fella, Warren Sapp. This time we're sending the goons. Oh, the goat! The goat! The goat! I see you, Sean. Let's go, goat. Shade over the top end. We got our spy. We don't gotta worry about Nathan. Oh, 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 Sean! Oh, oh, Sean almost got that! Matter of fact, can I put the goat back here? Can I put Sean Taylor? Where's Sean Taylor at? Where you at, Sean? Where you at? No, it just wanted me to put you back there because they haters. Oh, there you are. My bad. Oh my. Sean, get there. Get there, Sean. Sean, scoop it. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. No! You read over it. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was shook. I was shook. I thought maybe it touched his shoelace and he was going to be able to pick it up and take it back. Oh, I was shook. All right, good debut from my man Sean so far. But that was as expected, right? Like, we knew he was going to have a good debut with Sean Taylor, baby. Oh, he got me with me. He had me beat. He had me torched with Barry. His Barry streak, I read like a table route. I cut inside a little too much, and he was gone. He just had to chuck it. He missed a touchdown. We'll take that, though. We'll take that. Pressure be bursting pipes, though. Oh, good juke inside. I thought he was going to hit the outside. It was a good juke. Selman! Oh my lord, this man just swerved the living bejesus out of Ronnie Lott and my spy. Ronnie, let's talk. I hate escape artists. I hate it. Escape artists is so good and so underused. Matter of fact, we're just going to sit in this zone here. We're just going to sit in this zone and I'm going to use it to go. Ah! I, tried, I tried to get all six foot seven inches out there. I tried to be able to stretch him out. Hey, we're just going to sit in this zone right here. Force him to make a read. Woo! He had like eight routes over there on the left. I just know Sean Taylor was above all of them. Oh, snap! The delay? The delay havoc? Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you. I didn't know you was capable of that. My bad. Damn. Oh, 
Oh, oh y'all better give Sean Taylor the tackle. What the hell? Okay, you know what? We're going to man up him to this tight end here. Oh, dang it. I couldn't get it off. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That Revis, though. Send the spy right away. I'm all over. Oh, Sean, Sean, let's go, let's go, Sean. For six, for six, for the goat. He's the goat. I'm telling y'all, man, he's the goat. Greatest of all time, man. You seen the play wreck, the precision? Some people say you don't have the steady hands or the technology to pull off a procedure like that. Shout out to anybody who know where that's from. But my man Sean Taylor was with it, baby. Let's go, man. Hell of a play by Sean Taylor, baby. Woo! I mean, woo! That boy Sean had two sacks. Pick six of <coughs> Oh, man, what a play. What a freaking play by Sean Taylor. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's full game Friday, the debut I wish, I don't know what Larry Allen did. I don't know what Gronk did. I don't even know if Gronk was out on the field. <laughs> I don't know. It's tough for me to implement certain people, especially a right guard. Like, what are we kidding? But that boy, that boy, <laughs> that boy Sean Taylor, though, that boy Sean Taylor, though, was a goon. He was a goon. And that goon did what goons do. And that's goonish-like things. A goon is going to goon. You understand what I'm saying, baby? Oh, I'm so I'm so excited to have Sean Taylor in my 335 wide and Cam on the opposite side. Now I could have kept Eddie Jackson 95 speed, 99 zone, but Cam here, who is slower. Let's, you know, he's slower. 90, but he's six foot three, 98 zone, and just big hit power, big block shed. He's just more of a physical person in the run game. So, you know, Sean Taylor and Cam out there feel like I have Pretty good guys out there to help me bottle up the run. They want to try to get any runs going. And obviously, when I put them in zone, when you know I give them the same look, but I want to peel back, I want to call a zone, I want to mix it up. I can then go on ahead and um, I can then go on ahead and know that I have you know six foot two, six foot three guys out there with tremendous zone. Sean Taylor ninety nine, Cam ninety eight. And, um, you know, two double or nothings with Selman and Pepper. Peppers, it just sucks that, you know, Warren Sapp cannot get double or nothing. He just can't get it. They still have him with the run stupper abilities, which is insane. It's been a month and some change. And they still have the wrong abilities on him. Still, to this day, to this day, they have the wrong freaking abilities on him. But hopefully you guys enjoyed, man. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely. A very phenomenal game defensively. Now, I, I got torched. I made one mistake here. Let's go back. Let's take a look at it. That's why I like to um, take recent captures. I like to take a look at things and, you know, see what I did wrong, what I could have improved, and see what happened. And right here, you take a look. Now, normally, if I shade over the top, there's no press, zero press whatsoever. They're going to get a free release, and they're just going to run straight back. This right here gives me the best chance to not get beat deep. Now, you can get beat with curls and corners and posts and ins and outs because there's just a, there's just a free release. They're able to just run right off the line and cut wherever they want, but I don't have to worry about getting beat deep. Now, if I shade inside or outside or underneath or no shade at all, we're going to get a press. And the problem with that is when you get yourself a press, if they beat it, they're just gone. Especially with me running a cover zero style defense with no over-the-top help. You see on the left, he attempted to press and he just got cooked. Let's take a look at it again. You see the guy on the left there. The ball is height. He attempted to press and got cooked. You see on the right, he's getting pressed, you know, very good. That's how I knew it wasn't over-the-top, you know, shade. Because I take a look at the right and I see it's a press there. No press on the left and he just made a, a fantastic jump. Right off the line, absolutely cooked DRC, and he was just gone. And that was just a good read by him. And I was hoping that deep out KO would bail me out, but he got beat so bad off the press, even though he has 96 speed. Like right here, this is just tough ground to make up. It's tough ground to make up, even though I'm pretty positive 
that my DRC is faster, which he did catch up. You know, he did. Like, he was closing in on him. Like, you take a look. Like, when he caught, he was, like, almost, like, almost starting to close the gap a little bit. If he was close enough to tackle him, he would have dropped the ball. That's what deep KO does is that if I would have been close enough to tackle him there, then he would have dropped the ball. And that's why that ability is so, so, so good. But um, outside of that one blunder, and that's that's me. That's me making a mistake and not shading over the top and preventing streaks from being able to go loose like that. So, But outside of that, we played good. You know, we played good offensively, uh, played good defensively. I don't think I had any turnovers, which I usually do. <laughs> but I don't think I had any turnovers. Um, no, no, I did. I made one passing error where he just was using the D-line and he bull rushed immediately, just knocked my guy down and came in free. Now, I stepped up into the pocket how I was supposed to. I did a very good job, but I just felt the pressure coming, even though it did not. Like, I just felt like I was about to get sacked. And I rerouted Dion to the right and I threw it where um, by the time Dion was cutting back to the right, he was, the defender was under him. If I just waited... About a full second and a quarter later, he would have been more to the right of him, and I would have been able to precision that to the right low ball, and it would have been a completion. I threw it too soon, so that's on me. Just feeling like the pressure was there when it really, really, really wasn't. So that's on me. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Man, Sean Taylor debut came out and made an absolute hell of a debut. And I'm definitely excited that he's back in the Madden Ultimate Team and definitely excited that um, we got him on the squad. It's your boy Jess. We're going to go ahead and sign you out, man. Appreciate the love and support as always. Until next time, peace.